Hello guys, welcome back to Globe Totting Hills. It's a nice sunny day here in Sydney and I'm having my iced latte. If you have been watching my videos, you would have known that I was in Port Macquarie last week and it was fab. Port Macquarie comes in the East Coast Australia's road trip. So although I'm not doing the road trip ever because I have seen every single place like once at least. So I'm not doing the road trip. No, I don't think so. I'll probably go for the West Coast road trip. Let's see. But coming back to the topic, I was in Port Macquarie and I did a whole itinerary of what to do there for a whole weekend for three days. Even if you don't want to be there for three days, go watch the video. It's right there or here. First things first, have you subscribed to my channel? Yes? No? If you haven't, do it now. Right now. Yes, right now. Please. I'll give you two seconds. Done? Yes? No? Please do it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the best five places I went to for food and drinks in Port Pokhari and trust me, there are so many you'll be spoiled for choices. Um, I'm going to rank them from one to five, one being the best and five being uh, okay and I'll give you my honest review about it. Um, it's not only going to be all about, oh my god, I love this place, it's going to be an, a really honest review with all the pros and cons, what I liked, what I didn't like, what were the price ranges, was it good value for money and everything else. So stay tuned and before we head on to the video, do follow me on my Instagram. I post there regularly, even though I'm not regular on YouTube, but you'll find such nice recommendations, local eats, local guide, local places, local tips, all what, whatever, wherever I go, I'm posting there every day. So follow me there and let's jump onto the video. in this little breakfast place called Little Shack and we're here for breakfast they claim to have the best breakfast tacos so I'm gonna try that and the location is fab the prices are okay not that expensive or not that cheap so let's see how this one is and just see it it's the restaurants here the cafes here and that's the water it's near the brick wall and they're open 6 a.m. to um, 2 p.m. every day. Would you 
So I tried the Mexi tacos which she ordered and they were so yum. I regret not ordering them. I have ordered these chicken and cheese toasties. Let's see how this one is. Mm. Very tasty. This is very very good. Very greasy but so filling. Yeah. I found this really fab cafe next to this beach and it's called the sandbox and have a look that's the cafe and that's the beach Here's what I think. The food over here is all right. I mean, you can get something like this at any other place, but what you're paying for is the view. It's a bit on the expensive side, so if you want, you can skip this place, or you can come here if you want to enjoy the view with some just like decent food. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare Although I did not sit and eat here, but I thought I had to include this place because I got takeaway dinner from here once and I loved it. The food is not overpriced and it was delicious. Although they don't have a great interior, but hey, the food's great, so no one's complaining. Thank you for watching. Do follow me on my Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you next week with another video.